Good morning, everybody. So I'm back in Point Pleasant, New Jersey today, and I'm looking at a an inspection report. <clears throat> now, this customer bought this house maybe three or four years ago, has done a lot of work to the house already, and they hit them with this giant inspection report. So there's a few things I'm going to hit up today uh, concerning the report. The main thing I'm looking at right here, right now, is this extension cord that is plugged in to this receptacle right here, which is fine, but it's for this refrigerator in the garage. Okay, so if I unplug this extension cord, you see that it comes undone. So we can't use an extension cord for a permanent means of wiring, or permanent wiring means, I should say. 400 TAC-8, use is not permitted. Unless specifically permitted in 400.7, flexible cords and cables should not be used for the following as a substitute for the fixed wiring of a structure. Say. So what I'm going to do is we'll leave this plugged in for a little while. I'm going to move this table and stuff out of the way. And then I'm going to run a piece of conduit down the wall right here. And just put a duplex receptacle for the refrigerator. I'm not even going to move the refrigerator. All right, so here I just like to roll out my, my uh, non-metallic sheath cable, a.k.a. Romex. So it's nice and flat and easy to work with. And above this attic right here is a space where there's a whole bunch of other wires run. And I'm just going to add to it. So I tried to push it up into the attic, but that didn't work. So I pushed it down to the, towards the panel there. So I have my wire in place at the panel. And uh, I drill a hole in that corner up into the attic space. And I'm able to push the other end of the Romex wire down. And then what I'll do is I'll attach a piece of half-inch EMT to the wall and attach my GFCI receptacle that way. Working with EMT is pretty simple. I don't do a lot of this work. Um, so I wouldn't consider myself an expert EMT bender, but for this kind of stuff, I'm pretty good. So I'm just putting two offsets, one for the box and another offset to go up through the ceiling uh, to receive the wire. And then on that end in the ceiling, what we'll do is we'll put a, what's known as a from two connector on. So there's a, it's like a half inch EMT connector. And then on the top, it's a Romex strap connector to secure the wire, and that's what the code's looking for. Um, so here I'm just attaching some uh, anchors into the wall, and um, we'll attach the straps. And now, uh, this isn't really great footage here for the box, but that box gets attached to the wall too. After I mark it, I put my anchors in, then I put the box in. The wire is already inside the conduit, and so I'm going over here to get the, uh, the GFCI receptacle and the four inch square plate to match. And of course, we got to use a nut and bolt to attach that uh, receptacle to the plate cover. And that's what I'm doing here. And I realize that I don't have the long 632 screws that I like. I like to use at least one inch 632 screws and attach the bolt right there. It makes it easier on my fingers since I, God bless me with these giant sausage fingers. Um, I'm able to hold the nut and drive the screw as you see there. And that's how I get a nice firm attachment. Then I'll go over to the box and I'll strip the non-metallic sheath cable back and I'll attach a ground screw to the box and wrap my ground screw around that. And then I'll prep my wires to receive the conductors to the receptacle. And then I'll back out the box screws and attach the plate to the box. And then I'll get a circuit breaker and I'll attach that and I'll energize the circuit and uh, this particular project will be done. This is how I do a new 20 amp, 120 volt circuit and GFCI receptacle in a finished garage space. Then of course I come back and I make sure I label the panel and uh, the wiring is complete. If you like this video, I'd love for you to comment, ask any questions down in the uh, comment section. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like this video. And again, thanks for coming back and watching these videos. I really appreciate it. It keeps me going. Seeing that thumbs up for these videos lets me know people are watching the video, and uh, that's pretty exciting. So thanks for coming by, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.